Now, we're seeing declining education standards in schools. Despite all the research about the best teaching methods, more and more children are struggling to learn to read and write. The number of Year 3 students in the bottom two bands for reading has increased from 8.6% in 2018 to 11% last year. Shadow Minister for Education Sarah Henderson gave a speech on this at the Financial Review Conference today and she says this is now a crisis and she joins me now. Sarah Henderson, welcome to the show. You said that the biggest disadvantage a child can suffer is not their postcode but a poor education. Tell me about this. Well, Sherry, great to join you. And yes, again, I've raised very deep concerns about what is a national embarrassment. Our declining school standards across this country are very, very serious. And that means that too many children are falling behind. Uh, and it's partly to blame, uh, part of the blame, I should say, rests with uh, the university sector, which has for many years produced efficient teacher training courses, which don't reflect the science. And so uh, it's absolutely critical that the Albanese government, in concert with the mainland states and territories, uh, mandates the introduction of explicit instruction in every Australian classroom, the best evidence-based learning and teaching, which the evidence shows is the best way for students to thrive. Uh, the government has really dropped the ball on this. It is not being tough enough. Jason Clare is just tinkering at the edges and uh, I am really raising the alarm bells about this situation. But Sarah, the coalition government was of course in power until May last year, so this isn't a Labor government problem. This has been progressing for some time. What is the fundamental issue here? Is it that the teachers could be better trained or, you know, what do you think needs to happen? Look, there are a number of issues, and I have to say, on the whole, our teachers do a magnificent job. They are hardworking, they are dedicated. Uh, at the moment, there is a growing teacher shortage crisis. We're not seeing the government do anything about this. There are no immediate solutions in sight. So teachers are under enormous stress. And as I say, Jason Clare is really sitting on his hands on this issue. But fundamentally, we've had this era, Sherry, of what I call loose learning or inquiry-based learning. Uh, teachers have not been supported by the best evidence as to how to instruct children in the classroom. And we know that the teaching of phonics, explicit instruction, direct instruction is the best way for children to thrive. And I understand that the NAPLAN results that will be released tomorrow will show uh, an even more serious serious picture with uh, one in four Australian children in every year level not reaching expected standards. So it's a very grim picture. This government needs to do something dramatic about it. We urgently need major change in our classrooms and it really starts at the top with the Albanese government. Uh, but those NAPLAN results, I mean, that's shocking. Have you had a, a, an, a, an ahead, an advanced look at them? Uh, look, I'm just getting a, a bit of indication about what is going to be announced tomorrow, but things are looking quite grim. Uh, and, of course, it's compounded by um, very grim circumstances in which children have had to learn. There, many children, particularly in Victoria, are still recovering from two years of being locked down and not going to school. But fundamentally... Are you seeing... Uh, I'm sorry uh, children, for interrupting, but school. are you seeing uh, worse literacy and numeracy outcomes in Victoria than in the other states? Well, we have to wait and see. Uh, the results are out tomorrow. But I certainly know anecdotally that many, many families in Victoria are pulling their hair out, uh, trying to cope with teaching their children how to adapt again to being in the classroom after two hellish years. But the bottom line, Shari, is mm. that we as a nation are falling behind. Uh, 20 years ago, we were neck and neck with children, 15-year-olds in Singapore, and now we are three years behind. The worst statistic, I think, is that one in five Year 7 students has the reading ability of a Grade 4 student. I mean, that is absolutely appalling, Shari. Mm. And as I say, uh, governments have got to act, but so do universities. Yeah, no, it's, it's completely unacceptable to have children who are in primary school and can't read and write. Sarah Henderson, thank you very much for your time.